Good morning everyone. Today I am at home all day and working so I thought that it might be a good opportunity to make a, a vlog again. Uh, it was really appreciated the last time and I'm happy about that because it was really fun to film as well. Um, so the time now is 8.15 and I have been up for two hours and I have been, you know, just reading my book and knitting and then I got my, put my makeup on and uh, I had some coffee but I haven't had breakfast yet so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some now. So today is Tuesday the 8th of March, March 8th. Uh, and International Women's Day actually, so that's cool. Um, yeah, but today is Tuesday and I don't have any plans um, other than working and reading actually. Um, I thought that I might do a bit of a reading day, like a reading marathon maybe. I am on my reading goal on Goodreads, I'm like one book ahead of schedule, which feels really good um, but I thought that I might try to finish my two books that I'm currently reading today um, so one of them is the uh, Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb uh, a great book but a really long one um, and I, I'm listening to that on audiobook so you know uh, I've been listening to that one for a really long time so I thought that I might try to finish it because I don't only have I I think I only have like three and a half hours left of it and I think that I might be able to do that today uh, yeah three and a half hours so I'm listening to that one uh, I hope that I can finish it today if if not it would be really good to like get a good chunk of the the remaining hours done um, so maybe I will yeah I will try to finish it today let's say that uh, and the other one is this uh, middle grade reading arc that I got from work um, which I started reading yesterday and I am on page 112 so it's really easy uh, it's an easy read it's very interesting and very well written and everything it's called the uh, Agnes Evander and the Dada Skra which is translates to Agnes Evander and the Lake of the Dead. Yeah, it's uh, written by Anna Lundgren and it's in Swedish. Um, I don't often read Swedish books, but you know, I got it from work, and it's really good to you know keep up with the the releases uh, and news when you're working in a bookshop. So that's what I'm reading today, and I thought that you know I'm 44% through it, and I only have a hundred and. 40 pages left to, to read, so I thought that I might be able to finish this today if I prioritize reading a bit more than usual, so I hope so. But we will start there and I will get some breakfast and uh, yeah, we'll talk later. Now it's um, 10, 10.51 <laughs> and I have been working uh, all morning, Robin had a meeting so um, I couldn't really film anything or say anything, so I thought that I might just get on with work. Um, so I have been working on a, uh, on a text thing <laughs> with craft. Made my second cup of coffee for the day, which is always a nice thing. So I thought that I might eat lunch by like 12 or something, so in an hour maybe. So I thought maybe coffee would be a good idea right now. Okay, so I have some plans for the for the day. I thought that I might be... I have a, a meeting with Kraft at 1.30 p.m. Uh, and before that I need to get some writing done and I need to get some illustrating done for another project. Um, and um, I think that's all that I need to do right now. I have to edit a video for this week um, it's a tutorial on how you read and knit at the same time uh, which has been highly requested so it's nice to finally have that done so I will be doing that and then for lunch um, I will do some reading at lunch I think 
Uh, and then I have to set up my, my loom for another scarf. Uh, and Robin isn't here today, so I have to do it by myself, which is not as convenient, but uh, I have found a way to make it work, which is nice, um, because he works, so he has to work, of course. <laughs> it's a really gloomy day today. Um, it's like mist and I don't know I don't know if it's going to rain or something but it's really misty outside I thought that I might take a walk later but it depends on the weather <laughs> Now it's um, 12 o'clock, kind of, uh, and it's time for lunch. I made some, uh, when I'm home alone uh, and working, I don't really want to spend a lot of time cooking, even though I love cooking. Um, but I usually do something really, really quickly, like a soup or a pasta or something like that. So today was <laughs> this on the menu. Um, and it's a spinach soup. It started with that I had some bread uh, that were kind of stale that I wanted to use so we don't have to throw it away so I made some croutons with that and then I had some spinach in the fridge uh, or the freezer. Uh, yeah I had everything at home so that's kind of nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna have that and watch Outlander I think while I eat. Okay, so uh, it's now one o'clock and or one ten, and um, I thought that I might take a break. I have just set up my loom for weaving, and I started the weaving, um, but I'm gonna take a break on that and work on that more later. So now I'm gonna do some reading in my book, and I'm currently on page one thirteen, and I thought that I might. I have twenty minutes before my next meeting. And I thought that I might be able to read to maybe 140 or 145 maybe. The ideal would be to read to 159 because then I have only uh, 100 pages to go. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna do like 40, 40 pages in 20 minutes but we'll see. Okay, so I managed to read 30 pages, so I'm now, now on page uh, 140, yeah. I'm very happy with that and I'm, I think I'm gonna make, oh sorry, I think I'm gonna make some coffee for my meeting which starts in two minutes, uh, but it's uh, with Maya and Suzanne so I can just join the meeting and then make the coffee, they won't be mad. So. I'm very happy about my progress today with both the book and uh, and work and uh, and with the loom. So I'm um, yeah I'm very happy about that. So yes, I'm gonna make some coffee.
Mau ada anak? Ya mau berapa? Ya mau deh. Mau deh. Hekis pio pasti boleh. Um, yeah. Sudah. Hei, tu kan? Så det är väldigt mycket människor inne i den butiken. Ja. Det är ändå roligt. Verkligen. Det är bra. Så jag hade min meeting för about en hour and then I have been taking a break because I I got very tired. Um, so now I'm thinking that what I need to do for the rest of the day is to finish my dress uh, but I can do that later that's no hurry and before my <laughs> brain checks out for the day I have to write this um, text for uh, for craft because tomorrow uh, Maya is gonna look at it and you know check the the grammar and stuff and proofread it, it's called. Um, so that we can send it in on Thursday. So I have to write that text before I get too <laughs> tired to do that. And it's about three o'clock right now. So I thought that I might do that now and work for another hour maybe. And then I will, um, uh, I will do some sewing and I will finish the dress that will take I don't know 10 minutes maybe and I will also work on some uh, preparations for this market that I'm participating in in the end of March it's called the local femme market and it's an online market so I will prepare some coffee filters for that I think I will do some workout after that because I I need to get moving and my back isn't feeling that good uh, so I will do some workouts and then I will weave some I think and I have to find a series because usually when I have this uh, preparation for a collection uh, that I'm releasing I have a TV series that I only am allowed to to watch when I am weaving and that is very good actually, not not in a, in a way because I have to convince myself to weave but it makes it a bit more exciting <laughs> and a bit more, um, you know, easier to sit down and, and easier to just go with the flow. So I have to find a series um, that I will enjoy. Um, yeah, and then after that I think I will do some cleaning maybe i will do some cleaning before because i have uh, made it a, a quite a <laughs> quite a mountain of dishes uh, so i will maybe i will see to that in the middle of this i'm not gonna have more coffee i think i think it's enough for me i had like five cups or something um and that's not good for anyone <laughs> Okay, so a change of scenery. I'm now in my bedroom. Um, I forgot the time a bit. <laughs> I uh, The last time I spoke to you, I think I said that I'm gonna work for five minutes and then I'm gonna read for 15 minutes. Um, yeah. And I think that was around three and now it's 5.30. So I, I worked for another two and a half hours on the project that I'm working on. Uh, yeah, and that's fine. That's how it is, you know. You have to go with the flow sometimes. Uh, but now I have to rearrange my plans a bit. So now it's six, no, five, five, four to five. So I'm soon going to have to make dinner. So forgot that, that I have to edit a video. <laughs> I didn't write that on my to-do list, so that's why I forgot about it. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning before work in the bookstore. Uh, I'm thinking that I might actually make this a two-day vlog. It might be fun to come to the bookstore with me. Um, I won't be able to talk to you, obviously. But I'm going to Knitting Fika uh, in the evening as well, so that might be fun to... 
you know, come along too. I have to figure out something to eat tonight. I already made lunch for tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about that, uh, which is great. So I think I'm gonna make something, um, yeah, like a salad or something. I don't, I'm not in the mood for something heavy. So I'm gonna finish the dress and then I'm gonna go downstairs to the shop and do some shopping for um, the meal. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait for Robin to come home before I eat. So that gives gives me some time to uh, do a workout. Yes, that's a plan. And then I'm gonna read. Yeah, I have like 110 pages. So I think I might be able to read like 50 pages tonight. I think so. If I don't get stuck in front of the TV but if I don't finish it finish it today I will finish it tomorrow uh, on the way to work and during lunch so and I listened to half an hour of my book uh, which is great you know it's kind of a slow burner right now I'm not that very excited to listen to it so I'm gonna listen to a podcast instead I'll talk to you later so I'm gonna finish the dress Hello. Now the time. Uh, now it's 7:30 p.m. and I am finished with all my things that I had to do today, except reading my book, which I'm gonna do before bed later. But now uh, I have been uh, working out. That's why I'm a bit red in the face, uh, and I have done the dishes. So I'm feeling very pleased with myself. Um, now I'm gonna go downstairs and buy some ingredients for tonight's dinner and I think that I will be Robin is working out in the gym so he will be home and hungry in a bit so I thought that I might do something you know kind of fresh or something nice to have after working out so I'm gonna go downstairs and buy some vegetables um, maybe some tofu or something. Uh, I'm trying to eat as clean, mm -hmm. sorry, as clean as I can right now to test if if it's going to help with my PMS. And I I have done it for the whole cycle yet, and now it's you know it's over, and my new PMS hasn't started yet. So um, maybe I'll do 
would you guys be interested in a PMS monthly vlog? Let me know if you want to. Uh, I'm not gonna show you <laughs> everything about it, but you know, I thought that I might talk a bit about how I'm feeling that day or when the, the mood changes and how annoyed I am at things. <laughs> uh, or, you know, just let you know how, how it changes over the month. Maybe that's an idea to, to try out. Uh, it also has to do with my crafting as well, of course, because crafting and PMS is very linked for me. Uh, or my mood and crafting is very linked. Um, so yeah, that might be fun. But I'm uh, trying to eat as clean as I can right now because my PMS is quite bad um, or very bad uh, at times when I'm stressed or when I'm eating not so good. So I thought that I might try this. It's kind of like food pharmacy if you know of it. Um, it's kind of like their guidelines, but I, I don't do a diet because that's not who I am. And I, I don't do it to lose weight or anything. I just try it to see if it helps with my mood and my PMS over the month. Um, because I think it's interesting to see if you can change things. Obviously you can change things with your diet. Um, but I'm not going to uh, talk about that so much here. Um, yeah. So now I'm gonna go downstairs and do the shopping and I'll just make some dinner and then me and Robin will watch something together, I think. And after that I will go to bed and uh, read, I thought. Maybe with a cup of tea or like a... Yeah, maybe with a cup of tea. Good morning everyone. I have just woke up and uh, uh, put my makeup on and uh, change it back into pyjamas, <laughs> which I do every day. I usually wear my pyjamas uh, until I go to work. Um, yeah, yesterday evening was uh, we ate some food and watched Taskmaster, um, the British version. And um, yeah, after that I read some pages. <laughs> I didn't read, I didn't finish my book. Um, I have, I read about 10 pages I think in when I was in bed uh, and then I was too tired. I just fell asleep so you know I think the time was like 11 by then so it's not weird for me. Um, yeah it's not weird though. I don't, I always fall asleep when I read in bed. But I am now on page one, 155, so that means that I have 100 pages left to read today. <clears throat> and maybe I will make it, maybe I don't, I don't know. Uh, it depends on how much uh, I get read on the, on the way to work and home from work, and then I am knitting figure in the evening. Uh, but sometimes when it's really, you know, calm in the store, because I work in a bookstore and this is a book from the store, <laughs> I can read it in the, if it's a really, you know, quiet and not a lot of people or no people in the shop, obviously. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring it to work and read at work. But now I have to edit my video that's going up tomorrow and it's a crafty video. Um, it's a creative video, so I'm talking about all my creative projects in that one. Hello, now I'm at work uh, in the bookstore. So I thought that I might show you. I don't want to vlog in public, but uh, you know, I can show you the store. And uh, this is where I work once a week. Um, it's a child children's bookstore. But we also got uh, some adult fiction. Uh, over here and young adult and 9 to 12 and 6 to 9 so we don't, we have like all the ages but we have mostly children's fiction so this is the my favorite shelf <laughs> you know 9 to 10 9 to 12 and uh, 
young adult. Really beautiful weather outside and uh, I just vacuumed the store and now I'm gonna make some coffee and then I'm gonna get started on this pile of stuff that needs um, price marking. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some music on and then I'm gonna do the display outside um, and then I'm gonna start the work day. And this morning I just uh, finished my dress uh, with the, you know, lining stuff. So that's what I'm wearing right now. Very happy with it. It's weird to show you this way. Yeah. It's a, it's a regular linen dress in black. So yeah, I did that and then I read some on the, uh, on the way here. And I listened to a bit of my audiobook no now. Um, and oh, now it's four minutes left. Um, yeah, I have two and a half hours left. So I listened to an hour, which was great. Yeah, but I'll catch up with you later. Good morning. Uh, today it's. Sorry, my bangs are not in place. I just washed my hair. Good morning. Today it's Thursday, actually. So yesterday, I after work, I went to the Nitten Fika and I didn't remember to film anything. Uh, I just filmed a small clip on the before I started my work day at the bookstore. Um, yeah, but I had a really good time. It was nice to see them. Uh, we had like Kvällsfika. Um, some sourdough bread and tea um, and knitted so that was nice uh, and I actually started my new knitting which I'm gonna talk about in a bit yesterday before I went to sleep I finished my book so I finished Agnes Evander och Dada Sjö of uh, Anna Lundgren and it was really good I actually really enjoyed it it feels kind of like it's a very magical book, but it's not about magic. So these kids that, uh, it's it's about Agnes, obviously. Um, and it's about this summer school where kids go that has special powers. So Agnes is a fortunate, fort, fortunata, I don't know what, yeah, a fortune teller. Uh, so she gets like visions of the future and there are uh, whisperers and um, uh, naturum, nature, naturum, uh, and they get the seeds and, and plants and stuff to grow faster, and also time hoppers, so uh, time jumpers. Uh, and when they find out, they can apply to the school and they go there for six weeks uh, in the summer, and then they have like a big test, and if you get enough percentage you can apply for a school in the end to start that fall um, and that is something that opens up for a lot of more books which is really nice and I I am really looking forward to uh, to reading more of this writer it went very quickly it was very easy to read obviously it for it's for middle grade and that is actually very good because it's middle middle grade March <laughs> uh, in March where people read a lot of middle grades sorry my hair is I'm not used to having it down so so that's really nice and I'm now two books ahead on my uh, Goodreads goal which feels great and I have only about one and a half hours left on my audiobook so I thought that I might, I think, because I'm going away this weekend, I think I'm gonna finish that next week. Um, I'm gonna listen to it a bit. Um, yeah. Like, when I get ready and stuff in the weekend, but otherwise I just hang out with people, so it w I won't have time. But the next book that I'm gonna start, which I'm really excited about, and I picked it up, I saw it on, uh, like, um, I think I had it on my anticipated reads for the year uh, and I saw it on some people's 
videos as well. Uh, and then I saw it in my bookshop, so I thought that I might just pick it up and um, read it when I felt like it. And I really am craving some adult fiction, um, historical fiction, like magic for reals. And this is one that I think will go very good with that. Uh, so this is Anatomy, a love story by Dana Schwartz. Yeah. Uh, and this is about Hazel Sinet. Uh, she is a lady who wants to be a surgeon more than she wants to marry. The time of the book plot is Edinburgh, 1817. And I think it's kind of a, yeah, a gothic tale full of mystery and romance. I think it's kind of like a Frankenstein-ish retelling. So, it sounds really good. Uh, and it's not that big, it's, it's quite large, but it's not that long. Uh, so it's um, 330 pages, which is very nice. Nice length to a book. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. So I'm very excited about that one. I'm hoping to get a start on that today. Uh, because we're driving up to Örebro today. Um, my brother is... Uh, becoming a doctor this weekend like not a not a phys physician not like a medical doctor but you know um, he has written a thesis is that that in English yeah you know the five year span thesis <laughs> uh, doctorate maybe I don't know he's getting his um, diploma and stuff this weekend which is really fun uh, so we're driving up to Örebro and I thought that I might be able to start this one in the car. I actually frogged a sweater uh, yesterday morning uh, because it wasn't turning out as I wanted it to be. Uh, it's a self-drafted cardigan. It was a self-drafted cardigan. Um, but I thought that this might be a bit too bulky yarn because the yarn is Swedish wool. Uh, it's not that thick, but it's, yeah, um, it's a bit bulky for a cardigan for me because I have quite a um, quite a large bosom uh, and I think that it's gonna be too like too much happening <laughs> um, so I thought that I might do a sweater instead and maybe go for the balloon sleeves I'm not sure I will have to see but I I actually wanted to do something with the raglan increases not just a simple easy common raglan so I talked with my friends at uh, Knitting Fika yesterday and they suggested a cable. So I thought that I might do a cable. Maybe this is really hard to show. I'm just getting started on it. Uh, but it's a cable over four stitches. In every other row you knit the, the two inner stitches and put them on the outside. So it goes like this <laughs> all the time. Um, yeah, and I think that's gonna be nice detail on this sweater, which is which is supposed to be quite simple, um, maybe with a balloon sleeve. But I think that I have to do like the upper sleeve a bit more tighter than I did with the cardigan, um, and then like increase a bit. So I'm not sure. I will have to see. I'm, I I really like the balloon sleeves. Uh, and I made a dress uh, that has a balloon sleeve, which is really nice. Um, but I don't know if it's good for a knitted cardigan, a uh, knitted sweater for me. I don't know. Maybe I just need to try it. Yeah. But I thought that I might end this vlog here because it's been a few days. Uh, it was really nice to have. Uh, like a bit more time so I thinking this is gonna be a real really long vlog thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed my content it really helps me <laughs> yeah and I hope to see you in the next video next week bye